Terra Novo Lyceum and Hello World. I'm your host, Alva, and today we are going to be drawing cards from the Magical Mermaids and Dolphins deck by Dory Virtue, taking my cue from, oop, there's a glare, there we go, taking my cue from uh, Kim's reading last week, and we are in Pisces energy full on, we just had a new moon, what, last Wednesday, the second, I know it was the second, I think that was a Wednesday, pretty sure, it's been a couple of, a uh, long couple of weeks, <laughs> Anyway, so Magical Mermaids and Dolphins in honor of Pisces season. And thank you, Kim, for the idea. So before we get started, let's take a nice deep cleansing breath in. Let it go and let it flow. And we worked with this deck a couple of times, um, I think, at least once. I know we worked with all my decks at least one time, but here is the back of that there's a mermaid and she's talking to a fairy I'm sure there's a dolphin in there somewhere maybe but there's the back of the deck this one again is kind of like um, the fairy deck in that sometimes I get something kind of accurate or sometimes it resonates with me this, these are coming out pretty quick though uh, and sometimes it oop, there we go Sometimes they're like, eh, but I'm feeling confident. I just feel like this is the deck for Pisces. And again, Kim sort of underlined and affirmed that. So let's see what we got here. Hmm. Weather forecast. <laughs> it is a weather forecast reading. So I feel like all this energy sort of feeds and aids and abets each other and um, we're just, we're being asked to kind of do these things simultaneously. There's always a little bit of a domino effect where you do the one thing and it kind of leads to the next, but this feels more like we need, we're doing this simultaneously to bring about a desired outcome. So our first card is Tranquility, and it says, make time to relax, be still, and enjoy your solitude, indulging in much needed self-care. And I'm very specifically getting uh, purification from this. So this is salt baths. If you don't have a bathtub, and I don't, I'm very sad about that. That's something we're working on, I guess, manifesting or um, future home improvement projects. But a bathtub uh, filled with uh, salt, uh, not table salt. You want to use something like uh, Himalayan pink salts or Epsom salts, essential oils, um, Something relaxing, but lavender obviously is the go-to for rela relaxation. Um, but necessity is the mother of invention. I have made some salt soap to use in the shower, and it has the same effect. Uh, it's not as fun as soaking in the tub, but same cleansing, clearing out your energy. Make sure that you're really getting your heart chakra. Okay, this is where a lot of stuff lands. Okay, we want to clear that out. But obviously, you know, we're, we're being asked to take care of ourselves. And a lot of this is you cannot pour from an empty cup. So make sure that you're drinking plenty of water. You're uh, getting, you're taking the time to, at least at least once a week, I would say, at this point, uh, take a nice soaking bath with salts um, or taking a nice shower and you're using um, maybe a salt scrub. They're a little bit more common than the salt soap. Uh... Yeah, cleanse, cleanse, detoxify as part of your self-care ritual, okay? And this will, it's going to kind of clean out some of the, the nastier negative things that are kind of going on. And right now, unfortunately, uh, we have some of that going on in the world. So, well, we always have that going on in the world, but it's kind of really in our faces right now. So make the time to, to relax, to uh, make sure you're getting plenty of sleep, plenty of water, and cleansing, Okay, particularly your energy. If you do, I say water because, again, we're in Pisces season. Pisces, um, I don't know, Kim, you don't like this word. I'm not, I'm not fond of it either. But, when, I'm, but I'm using it in the sense of sensitivity as in uh, more prone to picking up on things. Not as, I'm not using it in a derogatory sense. But um, all water signs, all, not just Pisces, um, are more sensitive to energy than some of the other signs. So it's really important if you got a lot of water in your chart, not just your sun sign, uh, that you are taking time to clear that out. We're being asked with water because we're kind of in a water season, but smudging uh, uh, sound, uh, the Tibetan singing bowls also works. 
you know, anything you can kind of do to kind of clear that out, okay? Just really feeling that, like, take, take, your, take your salt baths, folks. And also, watch your thoughts, okay? And it says it's important to only think about what you desire, not what you fear. I have slight issue with this, um, but we're going to kind of turn it around a little bit here. Um, I think there is this kind of belief in New Age thought that you can never have a negative thought, whatever negative means. It's usually something angry or some other, you know, emotion that we're supposed to suppress instead of feel because it's not love and light. Eee, it's not glittering rainbows. Eee. Okay, this is going to turn people into straight up monsters. I'm not going to even lie. I'm not going to mince words. I'm not even going to lie. I'm not even going to try to put a gloss on that. You repress your feelings, they're going to come out of you sideways or they're going to manifest as illness in your body. So, here's an alternative to repressing your feelings and your thoughts that are quote unquote negative. Um, how about instead you catch yourself going down a line of thought you're not feeling great about. You're thinking about someone or something or a situation that you really would rather just be done with and you catch yourself in, the, in those thoughts. You catch yourself in those feelings. Catch it. Just, catch, just may observe it. Don't judge it. Acknowledge it. Like, hey, I understand why you might feel that way. Hey, I understand why you're having those thoughts. Here's what we actually want in our life. Okay? So we want, we want to affirm, uh, and I don't want to say positive. I hate even using positive and negative. I don't have other... I don't have another vocabulary for all this, but what do you want, okay? You catch yourself thinking about things that you don't like and that you don't want and you're upset about it. Don't repress that. Acknowledge it. Understand why you're feeling that way. Understand why you're thinking those things, okay? Understand that. And then, like, well, I don't want these things in my life. What do I want? And then turn that thought, okay? Turn that thought around. What do I really want in my life? Do I want, you know, do I want lying ass bitches in my life? Do I want uh, co-worker drama in my life? Do I want um, unhealthy coping mechanisms in my life? Do I, whatever, whatever the thing is. And of course the answer is no. We don't, none of us want that. <laughs> Nobody wants that. Okay. And it's like, what do I want? It's like healthy, uh, respectful social interactions, a supportive work environment, um, what was the other thing? Health, physical, mental, and emotional health. Those things. And then think about those and how you might attain those things if you're not already kind of in that zone as it is. Like, is there something that you can be tangibly doing? And it may be something uh, is, I don't know. I'm trying to think here. You might decide to meditate. Okay? You might decide to um, go for a half hour walk every morning. You might decide that there are people in your life that you need to just draw your line in the sand, and if they don't respect it, get them out of here, okay? And that's not like a mean or, you know, you're being nasty. It's like, no, you're drawing a boundary to protect yourself. That's cool, all right? Um, but turn your thought. Focus on the things that you do want. I'm not saying do not repress. For anybody's sake, do not repress. For your own sake, do not repress your thoughts and feelings acknowledge them. I want us to get into a habit of acknowledging them. If it comes up, say, hey, look, yep, I get it. You're pissed. You have every right to be. And here's what we actually want in our life. Okay? Turn turn your thoughts. Turn them to, to the things that you want. Alright? And that brings us to healing heart. Again, with this, make sure that you are submersing yourself up to your heart chakra in the bath, if that is an option for you. Okay? Healing heart. And it says, you're a powerful healer. Keep up the great work. Okay? So, uh, this, is, this is what we've been this is what we've been asked to do. This is what we've been doing for months. It's healing ourselves. I think at this point, too, and I need to be very careful and how, and we all need to be very careful in how we do this. Um... You're doing healing work on yourself. You may have, you may have reached mastery on something, or you may there may be something that you already have that you're really good with that someone else needs to heal. Okay, and this isn't a swoop in and save anybody kind of energy. I actually had this conversation last week with a, a good friend of mine, and she said, you know, she made the comment like, "Yeah, I kind of there's a part of me that really wants someone to come in here and fix this." But I know that I need to learn how to do it myself. And I'm like, that's powerful. Okay, that's very powerful. That's being empowered, right? 
You're not being saved. You're not having some kind of codependent, um, unhealthy thing going on with someone else. You want to learn the skills to be able to do this yourself. Even though it's not, maybe not natural to you, or maybe not, in this case, we were talking about boundaries. And even though that's not like a, something that she's really comfortable with or good at, it's something, it's a skill. It is a skill that she can learn, and that will help her in her healing. Okay, this is, that's huge. I was, like, I was just, ugh. My heart, <laughs> my heart, like when she was saying that, I'm like, that's so powerful. That is so powerful. And if we could all kind of get to that space, like someone else has something we can learn to empower ourselves with, or we have a skill that we can teach someone to empower them with. And it's, again, it's not about us rescuing them or being a martyr. Oh God, we see that a lot too, right? Like the, I'm doing so much and I've done so much and don't you feel sorry for me for all this stuff? It's like no one asks you. <laughs> Stop it. You know, go deal with your shit. Um, we, we see that. We don't want to fall into those traps of rescuer, um, guru, um, again, the martyr. Look at us taking on everybody else's pain. No, let people have their pain. They need to learn from it. They need their pain. Well, let me say that again. People need their pain to learn. I need my pain to learn. We don't learn by getting it right all the time. And we need to stop putting all this sort of negative, um, nasty connotations around pain, whatever that is, whether it's mental, emotional, or physical, and recognize it as the lesson that it is. A lot of people are not going to want to hear that. I recognize that right now. I just said something totally controversial. But there it is. We, need, we have skills that we are learning that may help other people. Other people have learned skills that we may need to heal ourselves. This is an, ex, this is an energy exchange. This isn't a swoop in, uh, well, I'm thinking about James Bond. James Bond is not the person that I want to use as an example. But, yeah, that's what, it, that's what it is. But part of this, too, if we're doing in kind healing, is watching our thoughts, right? Focusing on, focusing on getting the card to not reflect. But focusing on you know, what we want, okay, what we want our lives to look like. And getting to that point, it's like these other people and these other situations, is it more important to be enmeshed in those and to try to force our way in those or to try to um, repay in those? Or is it more important to heal and be happy and be successful and move on with our life, which is going to piss everybody else that doesn't like you off anyway. So, which one's more important? It's like, do you want to succeed more than you want them to fail? Or the situation to work out exactly the way you want it to? I mean, where, where are you focusing your energy, folks? This is where I'm getting at. And I feel like I'm, I'm being really, really punchy with this, and I'm not, I don't mean to be. Uh, I just feel like that we're, we're getting, we're coming down to a time when uh, she's getting real and a lot of us here are poised uh, where we've been doing the work which is again why we have to self-care it's not easy work it's very challenging work uh, sometimes it's painful work we need to we need to take care of ourselves and okay, we need to cleanse our energy especially if we're prone to picking up on other people's energy we need to focus on the things that we really want we, we need to focus on our own healing okay we need to focus on our own healing and our healing can help other people. Again, not in this codependent rescuer, look what a great human being I am because I did X, Y, Z kind of way. But in a, hey, I have a skill. I have something to my, again, in the case of boundaries. I'm boss at boundaries, man. I can teach people some boundaries. <laughs> um, but at the same time, I'm, I'm really, uh, it, it's hard for me to, Kind of open that heart chakra and and be really super compassionate that's that's not my um the glitter rainbow stuff not my forte so again i could learn something from somebody somebody can learn something from me and that could again aid our healing so again that was just a an example so all right that's a lot of stuff let's go ahead and take another nice deep cleansing breath in that go all right if you have any questions comments concerns especially if you have concerns please put them below uh this reading was a little whew, a little intense here at the beginning of the week again we're, we're between moons so that's that's to be expected a little bit all right hope everyone has a fantastic week uh, we are here if you want to talk 
Uh, check out Kim's class, the Writing Hot Topic Shorts. Okay, it's kind of memoir, uh, poetry, and prose writing. Uh, I'm going to be there. We all need it, right? <laughs> so, but check that out, and I will talk to you all again soon. Bye for now.